Hey guys, and welcome back to Louis Buck Productions. For today, we're away to look at something a little bit different. You see, I've heard through the grapevine that there's this ancient, kind of, almost mythical, mysterious thing I've heard about Reliance. And it's to do with these. Mark 1 Robin badges, the same as a kitten, actually. And the, the little, little myth I heard was, Supposedly, if you tap these together three times, something mysterious happens. So, I kind of got thinking to myself, I've got a pair of these badges in my parts display. I wonder what actually happens when you do it. It's, it's kind of like one of those signs that says, do not touch the bit, or do not push red button, and it's a big red button. You have to try it. So here goes. One, two, three. I better put those badges in my pocket before I lose them. Wait, why am I in my work clothes? I was in my work clothes two seconds ago. What? What's going on? Are, are these faulty? I mean, I thought it said that there's something magical happens when you tapped these badges together. Well, I'm not doing it again. Not that would be scary. What? Eh? Where did they come from? They weren't here two seconds ago. I mean... Well, that, that's a Rialto, because it says in the front of it, under all that dust. And that has to be a Mark II Robin. I don't know what's just happened, guys. I guess you could call it something magical. Or, you could call it that I've been quite busy this morning. So, welcome to the new parts of the collection. And I guess it's time to introduce you one on one to each of them. So this one is a 19, I think it's 87, Rialto SE. Now, this just looks lovely. It's totally original. It's, whoever fitted this aerial on it, I, I have to applaud their work because fitting that must have been a nightmare below the headlining, or above the headlining. Depending on way you looked at it. The other side, you don't need to look at it. There's a little bit of gutter hanging off. But isn't it a lovely little machine? I think it's fern green, you call this. But it's totally original, untouched, and very loved car. There's not much to say about this at the moment, apart from that we, we'll go into the more bigger details after we talk about the Blue Robin. But yeah, it's a lovely little car, 850, all there, complete, looks like new inside, but I'll let you see some photos of that later on as well. Let's jump to the Mark II Robin. So this is the second of the pair that's magically appeared today. This is a 19, early 90s I believe, R Reg, it, it slips from mind, probably 92. Um, Robin Mark II LX, but that was a, just a normal name for them, I believe. So, um, yeah, it's blue. I don't really know a lot about these, apart from the last owner. Used fairly quite um, specific words on how this car will probably be, even though it was on the road not even 10 years ago. And it's quite clean, actually. Quite nice. It needs a good wash, which we'll do soon. Uh, a good clean up. But yeah, another local car. Both of them actually are very local to me. This one, Morrisshire registered from new, and the Rialto, Aberdeen registered from new. Or Aberdeenshire registered from new with an RS registration. Both lovely cars, and I can't wait to get, actually give them a clean and see this dust disappear. And I should add, this lovely car has a white faded sticker on the rear window, which I've been able to decipher a couple of letters on. And I believe it was H&S Motorcycles, Jopsley and Aberdeen that would have dealt with this Reliant when it was at some point in its life, either new or second hand, we're not entirely sure. But yeah, a lovely Mark II Reliant. Needs a good clean, but we'll see. There's not a lot I can actually say about these cars because 
Although I have a lot of Reliance in the collection, I'm pretty clueless to these kind of Reliance. So this is going to be a learning journey for me as well as all you, I'm sure. Or you may actually be able to teach me for once about these cars. But anyway, now it's time to do the fun bit that everyone loves about finding dusty barn finds. Let's give them a clean.
wash is going to take a minute to clean this, I think. Take a bucket with me. Oh, that grill's loose. So that's on the to be fixed list. Oh no, it's a real. I was thinking I've got one of these bumpers on my stock, but it's a Realto grill I've got my a Realto bumper I've got my stock. See this roof needing two cleans as well because it's quite filthy. There's not actually a lot of mess on this side, it's just grime coming on, I think. And I realise my voice will be quite quiet here. Longer than the ocean state. Yeah, that's just anything else. Nearly there.
let's try and win, rinse that off and see if it's full of this. I guess we've got two cleanish lines now. So we've got the Rialto behind me and the Mark II Robin in front of me. Um, yeah, I was going to show you as a close up of the interior and all that, but guess what? Stay tuned for the next episode to find out what the insides of these cars are really like. And if you really want to keep up to date with the latest news and all these reliant things here and the Fox, the real Back to Robin, not Rialto. Rialto, the Regal, everything that's happening here, remember and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be pinged every time a video comes up, hit the bell button as well, and it will tell you when there's a new video on the channel. So, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember and hit the subscribe button, and I guess we'll see you next time. So, yeah, see you next time. <laughs> I'm going to chill out and enjoy my, my two new additions. I could, I could even have a Oh, that's, that's just perfect. Just enjoy the song.